today we're gonna go over the three most important things to consider before selling your home in a divorce. We're gonna jump right in. A lot of these things come from my book, Selling Your Home in a Divorce. Get your free copy by clicking on the link below. This book is gonna give you everything you need to make sure that you're selling your home through a divorce easy and effortlessly. So get your free copy today, once again, by clicking on that link below. So let's jump right into the three most important things to consider before selling your home. Number one, the financial implications. I want you to consider this for a moment. If you have $250,000 or more in equity in your home, if you file independently that year, you are now putting yourself in a tax situation. So you have to understand how much equity do you have because the IRS tax law states that if you file jointly, you can claim up to $500,000 in equity and it's not taxed. However, going through this divorce transition, if you are going through a divorce, you have more than $250,000 in equity in your property, then what's going to happen is that amount above $250,000 is going to be taxed because you're now filing independently. So tax law, very important. Make sure you understand that if you file independently, you can only have tax-free capital gains on your property up to $250,000. If you file jointly on your taxes and you sell your home, you can have up to $500,000 in capital gains. So consider that before selling your home, that is one of the most important. I am not a tax advisor. I just know the tax law. I've seen it enough. And I want to make sure that you understand that. Number two, decide what you're actually going to do with the house. There are so many different ways to transition the housing as opposed to just selling. Could you refinance? Does it make sense for you? Refinancing and buying out the other person's equity is one of the fastest and easiest ways to get the property transition and also keep the property if you're wanting to stay there. It's not easy making a move or a transition when going through a divorce. So consider the refinance option or consider buying out your spouse or ex-spouse in this case by paying them the equity amount. If they have $100,000 in equity, you could pay them $50,000, sign an agreement with your attorney, and the ownership of the house transfers over to you. But, but if your spouse's or ex-spouse's name is on the loan, their name will still be on the loan. So consider that when you offer the buyout situation. Now, number three, most agents are going to say, well, now let's talk about hiring the right real estate agent. Well, forget that. That's not that important. The number one important thing is communication. Will you please both go in with the idea that whoever you hire, whether it's an attorney or a real estate agent or any contractor, please have clear expectations that communication's key. Clear communication will result in more money made on the sale of your home. When there is poor or little communication, we have seen home sellers lose thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars because communication from one party is terrible. I understand that the emotions are high. Maybe he or she did something that is non-forgivable. I get it, but please make sure you have a clear communication with the real estate agent or professional, whoever is helping you throughout the process of this divorce. Not answering your phone, not responding to text messages results in less money made for you out of your pocket. And with all the fees and everything that you're going to be accruing through this divorce, you should probably consider that. Put your ego aside and communicate. This will all be done very quickly. These are the three most important things. Of course, there's that little caveat of hire the right professional. Sure, whatever. Hire the right professional. You already know that. I don't need to tell you that. For more information, you can always get my free book by clicking the link below, or you can reach out at the information, contact information below. I'm happy to have a chat with you, but thank you so much for watching. I apologize you're going through this. I feel it, but also I want to help you so that this can be smooth, easy, effortless, and you can move on to the new phase and the new season of your life. Thank you so much for watching.